Is this the best tent ever made? I think it might be. But it's also the cost of a small car, quite a nice family holiday, and perhaps a really lovely sofa. So, is it really worth it? Let's find out. Some introductions. This is the Hilleberg Kieron 3. Three meaning three person tent. It retails, are you ready? At time of video, depending on which website you look at, between 900 and 1200 British pounds. I'm just gonna let that one sink in for a little bit there. Yeah, I know. Hilleberg are, I'd say probably the most renowned tent maker. Um, and that's handy because they call themselves the tent maker. And that's pretty much all they've done from the 70s since Bo Hilleberg founded the company. They've just built really good tents. Um, if you're new to what they do though, they have this funky labeling system. Black label, this is a black label tent, which effectively means I can go anywhere and do anything and I should be okay. Any extreme environment I can handle. Then you go to the red, and the red label is pretty much, I can do all of those things, but just not so extreme. The yellow is, we're going to strip out some of the durability and be lightweight. Mainly, I would say for sort of summer, I'd, I'd call that a one season tent, to be honest with you, anything in the yellow label. Then the blue label, which is like very specialized tents. And I think there's three three tents in that category, um, all of which have a very specific purpose. Um, and that's really Hilleberg in a nutshell. Okay, everyone, it's time to get into the specs. Now, I want this video to be about the real world usage of this tent. If you want the technical dimensions and numbers, I'd jump on Hilleberg's website and there free for you to see is all the specs for this exact tent. I think the easiest way for me to show you the best bits and maybe worst bits, um, if I jump off camera and just give you a quick tour. The Kieron 3 is a tunnel design, a perfect match for high winds. The outer tent is made from Hilleberg's Kaolon 1800 and has a 40D high tenacity ripstop nylon 66 fabric. What a mouthful. It's silicone coated on both sides and treated for UV protection. All outer tent walls extend fully to ground, giving you great protection in bad weather. For extra stability, the guy lines have two attachment points, which spreads the load evenly. The tunnel tents of Hilleberg have a single opening, continuous pole sleeve. The black labels use the strongest 10 mm DAC poles. All Hillybergs have really easy to use pole tensioner systems. Even with gloves, it's easy to operate. Here's the other end of the pole sleeve, which is reinforced for ease of use and better stability. You can see here the fabric fully protecting the zipper seam and red toggles, which are a locking system for zips. As I open the outer door, you can see the size of the vestibule, which are the same at both front and rear. You can also see that I have the footprint attached to the tent, which I always keep on although this does add to pack weight. The Kieron 3 has dual entrances at front and rear, both having fabric backed mesh doors to keep the bugs at bay. Here you can also see the attachment points of inner and outer tents. Inside the tent, I fit comfortably. I'm six foot tall and have so much space both in width and headroom. There's dual pockets next to both doors inside the tent with a handy ceiling guide to hang wet clothes if needed. Here's a still of how much floor space you have inside the Kieron 3. And again, this is looking out of one of the doors. You can see the bathtub in a tent, great for wet weather. 
and also the ventilation system. Finally, a quick side-by-side -side of the Kieron 3 packed against the 35 litre Osprey bag. Would I recommend the Hilleberg Kieron 3? Yes, I would. I love this tent. I bought this tent. This is my tent. And the reasons why I bought this tent, I think would still build the foundation as to why I'd recommend it to you now. And that's because of the confidence it gives me. I do not take this tent on the snowy mountains. You know, I don't go Everest. I don't go anything, <laughs> anything remotely that would be close to testing this for the situations it's designed for. To caveat my answer with that. But I do take it out four seasons in UK weather and it does get really cold and it does rain, torrential rain, and it does blow gales. And I've been out in it in all of those situations and I've just had complete peace of mind. And for me, you can't really put a price on that. You know, there's some huge caveats though, which is this is an exceptionally heavy tent compared to most others now on the market. So it's really a base camp tent. Like, this is home. I take this somewhere where I know I'm going to be for a few days. Put it down. It's not going anywhere. This isn't a kind of moving day after day with it on your back. It's just too heavy. If you're going to a place with somebody and you can share the load, brilliant. And it would fit two, maybe three small people in the, in the tent, no problem. But there's the pitch size to consider too. And if you were buying this just for more, I guess like the typical sort of camp campsite usage, you do have to be careful because it's a big tent. Um, you know, set up with all the guys around it, like the square footage is, is pretty significant. So there's that to consider too. The most, most times I use this tent, it's in the boot of the car and I know where I'm going. I know the pitch is either gonna be big enough or I know that I'm going to a wild enough space that I can just, you know, not have to worry about that. Is it the best tent in the world? Uh, maybe, I don't really know. Um, I think it probably is for those more like mountaineering situations that I certainly haven't tested it in, um, but good on anyone that has. Um, but for me personally, like yeah it is like i love it it puts a smile on my face every time i get it out you know and that to me that peace of mind that i spoke about earlier just how it makes me feel when i'm out in the hillyberg um just the ease that everything works you know it's the, it's the rolls royce of tents you know it really is um and i think that justifies the price i hope this review was useful or you just enjoyed watching and we'll see you again soon